the whaler. I want to make something expressly clear. In this universe, whales is power lines. That is the only commentary you're going to get from me about this album. Fuck you. Live at, Bush Bush Hall. Hall. Live at Bush Hall is a delicious, mouth-watering sneak peek into the future of BCNR. A sound that is still very much in development, but is extremely promising nonetheless. All I'm gonna say is, this old girl is vibrating with anticipation for Black Country New Road's next studio record. The land is inhospitable and so are we. Not really a Mitski head, but I found the land is inhospitable and so are we kind of neat. It still has its problems, but god damn. Is she an absolute master of her craft? You can't deny that when she comes in with that my love mine, all mine, all mine, that the sway is irresistible. Call me a yawn. Damn. These are some boogie woogie Australians right here. I really like the feet on this album cover. Toes so voluptuous that a girl might start acting up. She might start acting a fool if this guy doesn't put up his stompers. Guts! Olivia Rodrigo came through with her sophomore record Guts this year, which expands and refines on all the stuff that made Sour so iconic. If you're a Rodrigo head, you're gonna go nuts for this one. Going, going, gone. Hemlock Springs is one of the most promising rising stars, at least to me. Everything that she has been putting out thus far is killer, and this EP is no exception. All I'm saying is, I got my eye on you, Mrs. Springs. That feels good. After Jessie Ware's iconic album, What's Your Pleasure, she has done it she has once again done it again, and put out another record full of disco bangers that just knocks you on your ass with their sick beats. That feels good. A love letter to all the gay people that call themselves Jesse Heads. This is the fifth gayest record of the year. Fanfare. And talking about gay people, Dorian Electra. Their third studio record, which is an exploration of the cult of fandom and art under capitalism, that features the same iconic Dorian Electra production. This is the fourth gayest record of 2023. Yes, this album is full of bangers. Shout out Old Money Bitch. Shout out Jeez Louise. Uh, shout out uh, Cops and Robbers. Shout out Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Shout out Locals. Uh, shout out, shout out, uh, shout out. Yeah, it's uh, a good time. Hell Mode. Hell Mode is another really kick ass Jeff Rosenstock record, all about overcoming anxiety and creating a future that is worthwhile, not only for the world, but for yourself. Can't wait for the Ska version to drop. Struggler. Like I guess Genesis of Wusu is like a little roach or something? That's like trying to withstand the wrath of a god that's trying to squish them? It's a roach's tail that is backed up by cool dance punk grooves. What the hell? 10,000 gex. 100 gex. 1,000 gex. 10,000 gex. When is it gonna be enough? Is it ever gonna be enough? Because this simply isn't sustainable. I am done with this exponential BS. You better knock it off. 
or I'm gonna get real, I'm gonna get beat red, okay? This is not okay, Dylan, Laura, I'm done with you. Video's over. Let's hope heteros fail, learn, and retire. Let's hope heteros fail, learn, and retire is easily the cuntiest piece of music of 2023, and it earns that title so effortlessly. A manic little EP that is exactly who I am, IRL that is full of insane genre mixes and phenomenal production that embodies the spirit of hyperpop immaculately. This is the third gayest record of the year. This is why. This is why is easily Paramore's best record. And it's not even a competition. It is the culmination of all the anxiety that we have collectively endured over the past couple years. Anxiety that Paramore plays heavily into. It is a bold step forward for the band that Paramore executes flawlessly. Did, Did you, you know, know that there's, there's a, a tunnel under the ocean boulevard? boulevard? This record is unbelievably gorgeous. It is packed full of so many examples of stunning lyricism that it's blo that it blows me away. I'm still sort of in the process of digesting this album but it's stunning. What else needs to be said about it? Desire, Desire. I, I want to turn, turn into you. you. What did I say? Didn't I say that this was gonna be the pop record of 2023? But you simply refused to believe me because you're a little millipede, a millipede who doesn't know anything about music. Maybe listen to me next time, okay? The Red Record. Boy Genius, a indie supergroup that is made up of your three favorite sapphic dads, came through with their much anticipated debut record. The Record. A record that really makes you feel like a lesbian. A album with so many personal songs on it that makes you feel intimately a part of the stories they tell that gives you the feeling that you have known these people for years. Julian, Phoebe, and Lucy are absolute powerhouses. They have such an incredible electric chemistry together. This is the second gayest record of the year. Petro Dragonic Apocalypse. Petro Dragonic Apocalypse, or Dawn of Eternal Night, an annihilation of planet Earth and the beginning of merciless damnation. Yeah. I like that. I have been waiting and pining for King Gizzard to dip another toe into Thrash ever since Infest the Rat's Nest. And oh boy, did they deliver. The story on this one goes insane. A tale about humanity's worship of the motor spirit that leads to the destruction of planet Earth that a bunch of witches try to undo by summoning the mythical Gila monster, but they actually summon King Gila instead that turns into a dragon that guzzles motor oil and tortures the rest of humanity, using the same force that they used to covet and worship against themselves. It's glorious, and I loved every single second of it. Javelin. Javelin is an absolutely heartbreaking record that comes in the wake of the passing of Sufan's lifelong partner that recounts the trials and tribulations of their relationship and the enduring strength of their love. And goddamn, if this record doesn't just break you, not for any negative reasons, but for some very touching and joyous ones. A truly gorgeous ode to that one person who has been with you through all the good and bad days that you shared together. What a beautiful dedication to that one rare person that you'll only meet once in your life. Saved? Saved is a fascinating exploration of this ancient Pentecostal sermon delivered by Reverend Christian Michael 
Hater, a record that details Christian Hater's journey towards internal salvation in the wake of everything that she has endured, that uses Christianity, something that she very clearly has a very complicated relationship with, as a means of processing and healing. After experiencing the soul-crushing loneliness of the Lingua Ignota records, I am happy that Christian Hater is in a place to make music such as this. As a 3D Country! Uh, yeah. I'm a geesehead. Out of all the albums that I have been obsessively listening to over the past year, 3D Country has been the one that I have been hyper-focused on ever since it came out. A glorious, maximalist celebration of classic rock. Every part of this goose music has just blown me away from the performances, the arrangements, and the vocals. Also, the tale that it tells. A cowboy's tragedy about the loss of self in the wake of something truly awful. Geese is the most exciting new band right now, and I am excited that I have the immense privilege of getting to watch them rise. This is the gayest record of 2023.